This is what my to-do list in Things 3 looked like this morning. This is what it will look like later today. And this is what I'll be doing this evening, knowing that I worked on the right things and that nothing slipped through the cracks. Hey there, if you're new, my name is Peter. Like you, I tend to forget things if I only keep them inside my head. I have so many things I want to do in so many different parts of my life, but my memory isn't perfect. So I've developed a foolproof three-part system to make sure I always remember my tasks. The three parts are capture, plan, and review. Whenever I think of something to do, I'll immediately add it to my task manager. This is important because if I don't add it right away, I might forget about it. Usually I navigate to the Things 3 widget on my phone, I tap the plus button and I write down what I want to do. For example, I want to check out a new YouTube channel I heard about. So I'll write down, check out the Pick Up Limes YouTube channel. I'll capture to-dos wherever I am. For example, if I'm on a walk outside or if I'm sitting on the toilet. When I can, I organize my task immediately. Organizing means assigning it to the correct area or category in your to-do list. For example, for the task, take my medicine, I will assign that to the health area in my to-do list. I also immediately add a deadline if the task needs one. A task needs a deadline if there is a specific moment by when there will be an immediate negative consequence if you don't do the task by that time. For example, for the task, file my tax return, I will add a deadline of April 15th. By contrast, the task call mom doesn't need a deadline, even though you want to do it sooner rather than later. You don't need to frantically write down every single thought that you have during the day. I have lots of ideas, but if I write them all down, that would be exhausting. If it's a task though, something for me to do, I'll write it down on my to-do list right away. That gives me the comfort that I'm following through on my commitments. If it's not a task, if it's not something to do, but I still wanna write it down, I'll use my notes app instead. For example, if I'm viewing an apartment and the landlord tells me that it'll be available January 1st, I'll just open a note on my notes app and write down, move in date is January 1st. That way, my task manager stays full of actionable tasks rather than random notes. Part two is plan. At the start of every day, I open my task manager. Because I make sure when capturing my tasks to assign a deadline to tasks that need a deadline, I can immediately see whether any tasks are due today. If I have time to do more than just the tasks that are due today, I'll also choose some other tasks that are not urgent but still important to work on today. For this, in Things 3, I use the Anytime view, which shows me the tasks that make sense to work on anytime. Notice that I distinguish between tasks that are due today and tasks that I want to work on today. Use a task manager that allows you to make that distinction. This will help you meet your deadlines. It's important that you look at your to-do list at the start of every single day. That way you'll know when something is due today and you'll be reminded of all of the things that you wanted to work on. It can be tempting to use push notifications as reminders to do specific tasks, but don't do that. Instead, develop the habit of looking at your task manager every single day. Because, hey, let's be honest, you get way too many push notifications already. Part three is review. Every Sunday, I take 30 minutes to make sure that everything in my task manager is up to date. I also go through my physical inboxes to make sure that whatever is in there gets a task that allows me to process it. This is like maintenance for my system. Even if you always capture every single to-do, over time your system will get messy. You'll forget to mark something as completed or some to-dos will no longer be relevant. So by taking the time to review every week, you'll make sure that your system stays tidy and up to date. To learn exactly how I do my weekly review, download my weekly review cheat sheet. The link to that is in the description below the video. Reviewing weekly is the key to trusting your system. If you don't review weekly, you'll go back to trying to remember everything in your head and that just doesn't work. It takes a little bit of time to review, but that time will pay for itself. With all three parts in place, I trust my system because I capture my to-dos whenever I think of them. I don't rely on my memory and I never forget any of them. Because I look at my to-do list every day and make a plan, I know that I work on the right things and I can relax knowing that I did what needed doing. 
And because I review once a week, I know that my system stays up to date and relevant and that nothing slipped through the cracks. If you also want to always remember your to-dos, check out my course, Organize Your Life with Things 3. I'll teach you in much more detail how the system works so that you can be organized and get more done. The link to the course is, of course, in the description below the video. Either way, I hope this inspired you to set up your own system for never forgetting your to-dos. Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video and have a great day.